welcome back to The Organized Millennial. I am Anna and today I am doing my weekly check-in for week one of December, you guys. This is it, y'all. This is the last month of this wild, because <laughs> I don't know what else to call it at this point. Well, I do know, but you know, I try to keep it clean. This wild year. So, you guys, like, I'm actually really excited for this check-in because... I feel like no spends are making a comeback like November was like no spends who like what are no spends and I think December is going to be a good month for no spends fingers crossed and let's knock on some wood yep knocking on wood okay so hey what up y'all let's get into the gig um, let me tell you how I track my expenses so basically I use these color-coded expense trackers that you see here from ambitious Mimi the pink peach color um, tracks my cash envelopes, yellow tracks my online debit card purchases, red tracks unbudgeted, green tracks sinking funds, and no spends are, are of course for the days that I do not spend any money, which are the best days. <laughs> Um, and really quick, I'm pretty sure I'm going to run out of these peach expense trackers um, this month. So I, may ha I might have to do a combo of peach and purple expense trackers. So it just might be a very colorful month is all I'm saying. Um, but either way, the content is coming and I will restock on my expense trackers when I have a hot second and money. <laughs> Anyways, you guys, so let's get into it. Today I am tracking from the 1st through the 6th, and we are starting November, November, I'm still in November brain. We are starting December with a no spend. I do get this question all the time. If I count no spends when bills are due, I do because I think that no spends count whenever you have actively decided not to spend money. Um, bills being due is not a choice as far as spending money, so I still count those as no spends. <laughs> so, I got a no spend on Tuesday. Wednesday, the 2nd, I did spend some money that I am going to be, it was actually an online debit card purchase, but I'm going to count it from my spending cash envelope. Um, <clears throat> which I may regret next week, but that's fine. Uh, or this week, I should say, but that's fine. So I finally got my glasses, you guys. I have been talking, probably mentioning more so, um, the fact that I wanted to get glasses. And I just ordered some from Zenny. It's an online, like, store eyelass, uh, eyelass, wow. Eyeglasses. <laughs> store um, where you can purchase your glasses online so I did purchase them and you guys it was a whopping thirty dollars and forty three cents like this is what I'm talking about I spent probably like six hundred dollars on the glasses I'm wearing right now and another pair that I'm not even wearing um, and like thirty dollars and forty three are you serious I hope Everyone that I know that's used them like raves about them and loves their glasses. So I'm hoping I have a good experience. Let me know if you guys have ever tried Zenny Optical for eyeglasses and if you guys had a good experience or not down below in the comments. But I am like, like beside myself, you guys. $30.43 for a pair of glasses is like nothing I've ever heard of in my life. I'm so excited about it. I can't even tell you. Anyways, that's all I spent on Wednesday. On to Thursday. I had another no spend. Look at me go. So the third was a no spend, which is amazing. And the fourth, the fourth I did spend money. So I need spending and online. So of course I got Uber Eats. I mean... I was overdue at this point. <laughs> I went like three days without it and I spent $21.54 because I just did not feel like cooking. I have no other excuse. And I also got a Scribble Prince Co. kit um, this day and I spent $23.00 and 44 cents and you guys she just came out with her inauguration kit 
Woo! <laughs> that kit is fire! Oh my gosh, y'all. I'll, I'll be purchasing that. I don't know if I'll be purchasing it. Um, she, she'll release them tomorrow. If you guys are watching this on Tuesday when this video goes live, she does her releases tomorrow at noon. So I don't think I'm going to get it tomorrow at noon, but I'm also like, because they do tend to sell out and I feel like that one might. I also feel like I should just bite the bullet and get it tomorrow at noon. I don't know. It's really good, you guys. If you guys are like into the sticker life, I don't know if you've seen it, but it's really good. Um, it's really, really good. I'm like... I shared it on my social media. If you guys don't follow me on Instagram, you should at the Org Millennial so you don't miss out on my shenanigans over there. But anyways, <laughs> so Friday I bought from Scribble Prince Co. and I bought Uber Eats. And then Saturday and Sunday is all that's left, you guys. And they were both no spends, okay? Like, can we have a whole minute for the comeback of the no spends? Like, look at this. Look at this. Ooh. Yes, Lord. Yes, I'm, I'm happy about it. Can you guys tell I'm thrilled about it? Okay, so this is going to be like the quickest <laughs> weekly check in I think I've ever filmed. So now that they're all tracked on the monthly view, I'm going to go ahead and flip over to the weekly check in and we will track them on there. Okay, so here is my weekly check-in. This is my December budget spread. I did already um, post this video last week, so I'll go ahead and leave a card leave a link up in the card for you guys if you guys want to check out this video if you missed my December monthly budget setup but we are focusing on the right side for the weekly check-in so I'm going to go ahead and write out the categories and I shall be right back okay so I just listed out my categories this is a slightly different format you guys so there's no place really for me to put like what's currently in my sinking my sinking funds what's currently in my cash envelopes I'll still count it out with you guys but don't, it shouldn't be an issue moving forward from week one, but there just isn't a place for me to put what I have in my categories for week one. So I just have to refer to my November week four check-in. So if you guys missed that, again, I will go ahead <clears throat> and link the, the um, I can't speak, and link that video up in the cards for you guys so you guys can check it out afterwards. Okay, so, <clears throat> okay, so in week four, grab my calculator I have it off to the side I know you guys can't see it but it's okay so in week four I had $22.93 remaining and I did go ahead and add a hundred dollars to groceries so I had hundred and twenty two dollars and ninety three cents remaining in my grocery cash envelope so my um, change filled one let me grab all my change over here okay so Guys, my nose is so itchy right now. <laughs> okay, so I should have 122.93 in here. So I have 20, 40, 60, 80, 1, 110, 115, 116, 117, 118, 119, 120, 121. And I do have a dollar here for 122. And then I know this is 93 cents, you guys. I'm not going to count it out because it takes me forever. But all my weekly check-ins, I've been counting it out. There are 93 cents here. So 122.93 is what I have in groceries. And I did not spend anything in groceries this week, as you guys can see. Um, so, guys, this is why I can't. This is why I put all my change in a jar because it just takes too long. Okay, <laughs> sorry. Okay, so my groceries cash envelope is still the same, so I did not spend anything. And I still have $122.93 left in my groceries cash envelope. Um, so I think this is where like the remaining would be for the week and then I can bring it over. Yeah, that's what this is. So I'm just going to, I mean, I guess I could put it there, but I feel like that would confuse me. So I'm just going to actually do this. And then as I go forward, I'll just do spent and remaining. I think that's just easier for me, you guys. 
Okay, so then groceries still has $122.93. I did not spend anything in groceries. I also still haven't spent anything in gas, although I do have to pump gas soon, but not yet. So gas, I believe, still has $25. Here is my gas cash envelope. So 10, 20, and five, and it does. Have $25 still. I have not spent money, you guys. I also spent the weekend at home because it was rainy and snowy and gross and I didn't want to go out, so <laughs> that helped a bit. Um, and I stayed away from stickers, although I think I'll be buying some stickers today, actually, so <laughs> short-lived. Um, okay, so next cash envelope is Beauty. I don't think I used anything in Beauty. I did not. So beauty, oops, beauty should still have $65 in it from week four. So 20, 40, 50, 60, and five, it still has $65 in it. I know, this is a, this is a very uneventful <laughs> weekly check-in, you guys. I would say I'm sorry, but I'm kind of thrilled to be honest with you, so. $65 left in beauty and then spending, which is I actually spend some money in spending. So for spending, First of all, how much did I have left in spending? I think I have 150 in spending from week four because I did stuff my cash envelope on the 30th when I got paid, so yes. Um, and I spent $53.87 in spending, which if I subtract that from 150, leaves me with $96 and 13 cents in my spending cash envelope. Here's my spending cash envelope. For those of you who don't know, it is a um, empty or cashless cash envelope, I should say, just because the majority of my spending is happening online. So I just don't see the point in taking out the cash and sticking it right back in. So I do leave that one cashless and we had no unbudgeted this go round. So, you guys, this has been probably the best weekly check in I've ever had as far as I didn't spend no money. <laughs> I spent like no money. Um, I think that'll definitely change in week two, but I am riding it as long as I can and enjoying this because you guys know that November was disastrous as far as Black Friday just, just came for my coins you guys know okay so that has been my week one check-in for December I am like this is gonna be the shortest week one check-in ever because there were so many no spends and I'm like thrilled about it I think I had four you guys like what oh my gosh thrilled anyways if you guys are into budgeting planning and life um, don't forget to hit that subscribe button before you go and tap the bell so you can be notified every time your girl uploads new content. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up as it really does help support my channel and help me continue to bring this content to you guys. Thank you so, so much for watching and for all of your support. I appreciate you all so very much. That is it for me today. I will see you guys real, real soon. Bye.